All right, Trip Kramer here from TripAdvice.com. There's always a little bit of a delay in that very beginning because it doesn't say that it starts streaming until a few seconds, so there's that delay. What's up? How you doing? Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central, the time that we do these lives. Did a live yesterday. It's so funny because I do these two in a row. It's like I feel like I just did it, and then a whole week goes by, and it feels like it's been forever, but we're here, we're back, we're HD, we're in the new studio, we got mics, we got logos, we got it all. So say hello in the chat if you're with me, and let's get started. Today is going to be interesting. We're talking about three accessories, none which I have on me right now, because I'm not trying to attract you. Three accessories that attract women. We're going to go over those. And more importantly, we're going to go over why even an accessory like this might be attractive. I don't talk much about fashion. I don't talk much about accessories on this show. Why? That's because really your personality, your behavior goes a longer way than your looks and outer qualities. Yes, your looks help. That's one of the reasons why we're still going to talk today about some outer qualities, some accessories that you can use that I believe, in my opinion, and really the opinion of many females who I've talked to, uh, work very well. So don't worry. You don't have to break the bank. It's going to be okay. Some easy stuff to get into. And then, of course, per usual, we are going to get into some question and answer there is the number in the description to call in. Don't call in now. I will not answer because first we're going to go over some material and then I'll let you know when we open up to the Q&A portion where you can call in and also uh, answering questions in the chat as well. Don't worry. If you were here with me yesterday, you, uh, you noticed that I was sniffling a lot due to allergies, but that's not going to happen today. We're all good. We're all fixed up. Okay. What's going on? Hello, Prashant. Hello, Cedric. What's up, Carlos? What's up, Fritz? I love it. Cool. Interesting. I feel like there's less people here because we're talking about accessories. Maybe that's just not as interesting to people, although we just started a few minutes ago, so more people just kind of come on in. All right. So before we get into it, per usual, if you don't know, I'll tell you now that coaching is available to you. So if you're having a really hard time with trying to figure out how to attract women, uh, I actually just got off the phone with a guy who just signed up for coaching. And his big issue, and by the way, he's in his 40s. He will remain anonymous, as all my clients do. But he's in his 40s, and he has told me that he has a, a nervousness around women. He gets very nervous around women. His nerves get get really crazy once he gets over to talk to a woman. So if that's one of your issues, coaching can help. Coaching can help. Okay. So I really, I urge you if you, if you are over 18 and you want to get that part handled, if you're looking to get rid of those nerves, if you're looking to um, get over the fear of rejection or knowing what to say, to a girl, these are all things I go over in coaching. If you're interested, go to the, de go to the description where you'll see a link, coachedbytrip.com, and there you can apply for coaching. And I read every single one, and I make sure, I make sure that if you are a good fit, that I contact you as soon as possible to get you some help, okay? What are the three things? We're gonna get into it soon, okay? Becky's back. Missed you on the last one, Becky, on Tuesdays. Get to the point. Vernon, come on, man. We're going to get there. Nava. Yeah, look at that. We got we got some spammers. I love a good spammer. You know what happens to spammers? We put you in a timeout like I'm your father. You get put in a timeout. I have that ability. You know what else I have the ability to? When people are really rude, I can completely make my channel disappear from their life. That means that they'll never be able to see my channel again. Bye-bye. Okay. Three accessories that attract women. 
Now, there are many accessories that attract women, but I'm going to go over the ones that I know are, are practically proven. Okay? Practically proven. So the first one, and this blew my mind, by the way, and I, I learned this from an old coworker. This was a a uh, a, uh, a woman who who uh, worked right across from me. This is like back in the day before I was doing dating coaching, working in the entertainment industry. She worked right across from me, and I remember I'll never forget this. And I started to ask women if this was true, and she said that a hat. A guy's wearing hats is so attractive. By the way, disclaimer here, disclaimer. Of course, not all of these are attractive to all women, but I'm giving you the data. I'm giving you the data, the stuff that I know at least works, okay? And also, if you don't feel, again, some guys might be like, well, I'm not a hat guy. That's okay. There's the next accessory, which I'll talk about in a second. That wasn't for me either. And then I actually started wearing that accessory and I became that person. But hats are very attractive. Now, there's a time and place to wear a hat, right? It's like when I say a hat, like a baseball cap, I, I like to wear a black one. It's just a baseball cap that's all black. Got it from Lids. And I like to wear it in more of a casual setting, right? Obviously, I'm not going to wear this to the bars unless it's a very casual bar. But even at night, I just don't think it's a good idea. But wearing a hat, some women really like it. And here's the thing. Some women really like This is what I learned. It just blew my mind. Someone, someone would really love it. It's like, I don't get it. I don't really understand it. Someone said, what kind of a hat? Like a baseball cap. Like a baseball cap. Not like a beanie, like a hat with the, with the, with the brim. I guess I should have brought my Nova to show you, but it should be pretty obvious, right? Uh, maybe some sort of plain hat. So it's interesting. Some women love it. Obviously, there's going to be a section that think it's neutral. And then I guess some, I don't know, maybe some will hate it. I can't imagine a woman being like, oh, that guy looks terrible in a hat. I can only imagine most women are going to be in the, in the category of I love it and neutral. So you kind of can't lose, right? You kind of can't lose. So hat, hat, not fedora, not beanie hat, baseball cap, baseball cap specifically. I just remember. It's funny because she said that to me and it blew my mind. I still don't really understand it. I mean, I think... If I had to give an explanation, I can probably, I can probably give it. I had a baseball cap inherently is pretty masculine. I mean, think about a woman wearing a baseball cap. You know, I'm not saying a woman in a baseball cap is unattractive, but it's not necessarily attractive. And I think that reason is because hats have become sort of masculine. We see, we're like, we're programmed to see hats wear and, and guys playing baseball on guys in general. So inherently, it just it's become a masculine thing to wear. Maybe that brim that sticks out, right? Very pointy, masculine, pointy. So, yeah, hats. Suggest it. Like I said, I wear a black one every once in a while. It's, a, it's all black. You go to Lids, and no, this is not sponsored by Lids. But if Lids, if you're listening out there, you can send me a check. Go to Lids, get a plain black baseball cap. You can't go wrong. Like one of those fitted ones. Yeah. Check it out. Okay. Becky, you said casual and comfortable could send a sense of confidence. That's not a bad point. That's not a bad point. So there you go. Okay. Let's get into number two. So number one I wanted to give you because it's less obvious you would never think that it's very attractive to women. You'd think probably they wouldn't care, right? Let's go to more obvious number two. And I have a story behind this one too. Number two is a watch, okay? Is a watch. No, you don't have to get an expensive watch. Although if you can afford it, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't because it is a status symbol and doesn't ever look bad to have a really nice watch on. But that's not the point to have an expensive watch, but to have a watch that fits you really well. Okay. Um, all right. So again, not wearing my watch today, not wearing any of the accessories. So a watch. I remember I was working with a personal stylist, a personal stylist. Her name is Kimberly Seltzer, actually. You should look her up. If you're in LA, I think she's in LA still. She's incredible. 
She does makeovers on women. She works with men too. She, though we did a few videos together on the YouTube channel. She's amazing. And I remember what she said to me. She said, there's nothing like seeing a man with a watch on. Like every man has to have a good watch. And just the way she said it to me, just like, whoa, it just kind of hit me. Also, a fairly masculine accessory. You know, women wear watches too, but they're wearing a little more daintier watches, more feminine watches. And if not feminine in shape, at least feminine in color, right? So so a man wearing like a, a nice chunky watch, even one with a nice leather strap, but I, I this is my opinion, probably I'd probably go for a metal one. Right, so a watch. I don't know. I, I my only explanation for that is the same thing as a hat. There's just something inherently masculine about it. There's just something like it looks good. And by the way, I want to be clear here. This is again my opinion. Some women love a guy in like a lot of jewelry. Like some some women love a guy who's like you know edgy, wearing like rings on his fingers and necklaces and piercings and all this stuff. But if you can just wear a watch. There's something really sexy about that. Like just a watch. You don't need all this stuff. In fact, some of these accessories I'm telling you today, like I would say you wouldn't need to invest in any other accessory besides a nice watch, a hat, and the number three, which I'll be saying in just a second. It's okay, by the way. If you guys are 0 for 2, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, that's why you're learning this now. So you can you can work on this. I would say these are the only accessories you would really need that make the most difference. That make the most difference, okay? <laughs> Someone said, third advice, simple chain. No, no, not a chain. How about one of those chains that go like a nose piercing all the way to your ear? No, not one of those either. Uh, the third accessory is crucial. Is crucial. Okay. By the way, anyone, anyone, someone said 0 for 2. Someone said 2 for 2. Let us know so far if you got the hat and the watch. Are you 0 for 2, 1 for 2? Two for two, let us know. And if not, honestly, get on it. Not expensive to get a hat. Um, could be expensive to get a watch, but it doesn't have to be. I used to have a Michael Kors watch. I don't wear it anymore because I have a different watch now, but I used to have a Michael Kors watch. That was 300 bucks. That looked pretty nice. Very masculine, all metal. Nice band on it. No, not a belt. Not a belt. No. I know this is on delay, so I have to wait till I can comment and see the people who said that they're one for two, two for two, you know? All right, Say Orange again is five for five. Nice. Guys, don't worry. We'll get into calls soon. If you're calling in now, I'm not going to be answering because the phone line is off. It won't be open for probably another 10 minutes or so. Yeah, here's the thing. So I was saying earlier... Um, some guys are like, I'm just not a watch guy. I wasn't a watch guy either for my whole life until maybe two years ago. And then I started wearing a watch when I would go out and I don't wear it around, uh, you know, my studio right now, but, um, you know, <laughs> Jonathan, hello, Jonathan. Hello. So I started to wear a watch and now when I go out and I don't wear it, I feel naked without it. It just feels comfortable to have it. Also, there's something nice about being, this is like a thing I kind of realized. There's something nice about being able to look at the time without pulling out your phone. Because every time you pull out your phone, you see the notifications and you get busy on your phone. You know what I mean? So it's nice to just like look down real quick, see the time. Like, boom, you got the time. You don't have to pull out your phone. Plus, everyone these days has these big chunky phones that you got to pull out of your skinny jeans because everyone's wearing skinny jeans and big phones and pull it out. And notifications just like, Boom. Time right there. Okay. All right. Number, uh, Jonathan, if you're still there, uh, love to have you, love to have you on, uh, on the show. You should call in and, and say hello if you're still with us. All right. But I'll let you know when the lines are open. Okay. <laughs> Ask Becky in here if a watch is on a nice guy. Okay, Becky, the only girl, the only girl that shows up. She says, love a chunky watch. Here's the thing, too. Okay, as you can see, if you know Trip pretty well, Trip has small wrists, right? 
I, I probably have the smaller wrists than any any guy I know. I'm a skinny dude. Here's the good thing. I never wanted to wear a watch because my wrists were skinny. But then I found out that actually a chunky watch looks really good on a guy who has skinny wrists because it balances it out. So you can't lose. And then even if you wear one of those with a guy who has a thicker wrist, it still looks good. So win-win across the board. Win-win across the board. Jonathan says the coolest watch is a Panerai. Yes, I've heard of those. Nice watches. Okay, number three. Number three, the third accessory. Every guy, and you have no excuse not to get this. Some guys say, I'm not a watch guy. I'm not a hat guy. No one is not a sunglasses guy. Okay? Every guy needs a nice pair of sunglasses. And let me tell you something. This is the... I should say a watch is also a place to invest because you want a nice watch. But a lot of people, they really, they they cheap out on the sunglasses just because it's easy to do that. And I get why people do that too because they lose them. But let me tell you something, you're not going to lose your sunglasses if you if you spend a lot of money on them. Money. Sunglasses. Invest in a good pair of sunglasses. It makes you look just so much sexier when you're out during the day. When you're out doing something, like a good pair of sunglasses looks awesome. Okay? <laughs> Smiley said I knew it. Yes. Sunglasses invest. Don't spend any less than $150 on a pair of sunglasses. Because let me tell you something. The cheap sunglasses, they rarely look good. And you'll know when you get a nice pair of sunglasses, it looks really good. Again, when it comes to the watch... You know, you can, there's, you, if you don't have the money, you can get away with getting a watch that still looks good. I think it's kind of hard to get away with, with a cheap pair of sunglasses. Okay. Oakley's. Ooh, Becky, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But you know what? Depends what kind of Oakley's. I'm not going to tell you which brands because it just depends on the size of your face and every brand is different. I like Oliver Peoples. A lot of those glasses fit me pretty well. Those are a nice, nice pair. So, yeah, I'm just telling you, if you get these things down, nice pair of sunglasses, just a good cap, a nice watch. That's all you need. That's all you need. Do you even need all these things? No, you don't. You can still attract a woman without a hat, without a nice watch, without a nice pair of sunglasses. But here's here's where it comes in. Here's the idea. Here's the trip advice. The idea here is that what you want to do is you want to mainly and always be working on your behavioral qualities, right? Your confidence, your charisma, your conversation skills, your flirting skills. Like you work on that stuff. That stuff takes you a longer way because your behavior is what's most attractive to women. Of course, women are also attracted to your outer qualities, to the way you look. So, of course, you can't help the way that you look, you look how you look, you were born the way you were born, but you can optimize those qualities. You can go to the gym to get stronger, to get healthier, to get bigger. You can save up money to get a couple nice accessories. You can work on your style. So in the background, you optimize your outer qualities, your appearance, things like that. And then as you're continuously upgrading and doing that your whole life, that's in the background. First and foremost, work on the intangibles, the personality traits, the stuff that you have more control over, okay? Someone said a beard, by the way. A beard is not an accessory. I mean, I did grow mine out. We can call it laziness, but I still trim it. So, yeah. Okay, so, Becky, you make a good point here, and this is why I'm I'm not a fashion guru here. But uh, she did say, I like a hat if it matches a whole style. That's true. I should be careful with that. Um, Sunglasses, you can kind of get away with with almost any style. Um, Watch, you can 
depending, but for the most part, almost get away with any style. Because even like a really nice watch, you can still wear casually. But a hat, it all depends on kind of what's going on. A hat might not look good with, let's say, maybe if you're wearing like a, a nice button down and nice pants, right? If you're more formal, hat's not going to look good. It's got to be more of a casual look. Uh, cologne is not an accessory. I mean, I, don't, maybe, I, don't, I wouldn't consider it an accessory. Definitely helps, but but yes. So there you go. There you go. Anyone three for three? Let me know in the chat. We're gonna open the open up the lines in just a minute here. In just a minute. Nice shoes. Yeah, nice shoes are good too. I wouldn't call that an accessory though, you know. It's not really an accessory. That's more part of your style, your overall style. Like shoes or like pants or like a shirt. It's part of your style. Okay. Every Apple product is loved by girls. I don't know about that. I don't really get the iWatch. I don't think, no matter what band you have, I just don't think an iWatch looks good. Again, that's my opinion. I haven't really gotten any data on that. I just think it looks like a little tech gadget. It's like wearing a Fitbit. I think you'll look cooler if you have just like a normal watch, like a non-digital watch. Two for three, one for three, one for three, three for three. Awesome. Very cool. A good wallet. Yeah, it's nice to have a good wallet, but it's not, that's not on the top of the list, I would say. Not on the top of the list. So, that's some of the outer stuff, right? That's some of the outer stuff. If the inner stuff is still not up to par, the outer stuff isn't going to work. If your inner game, or I should say um, your inner game plus your charisma con uh, conversation skills, your just ability to go up and, and talk to a woman, if those, if those things or not on par. That's where you come to me for the coaching bit. That's where you go to coachedbytrip.com. You come to me and we work on that stuff. Because that stuff takes you farther. That stuff you won't need a watch. You won't need a, a hat. You won't need nice sunglasses. But you absolutely need to have the confidence to go up to a woman, look her straight in the eye, and say hello. If that is hard for you, coachedbytrip.com apply right away link in the description <laughs> you guys are hilarious okay lines are open lines are open i'm here to chat with you 310-598-3384 the phone number is in the description so you can go check that to call and we'll answer any questions. The more specific, the better. I think you guys have been pretty good on that, though, lately. If you have a question, we can try to answer it here in the chat, too, of course. Um, much better to get your answer on the phone so we can dive deep into it, right? So, lines are open. Call me, 310 598 3384. Interesting how we had double the amount of people watching yesterday in the afternoon at a time where you'd feel people are busy. What's up? You're on the air. State your name, age, and where you're calling from. Hey, Trev. This is Nick again. I'm calling again for like the fifth time from uh, Georgia, 19 now. Recently had a birthday. Dude, I'll never forget that voice. What's up, bro? Hey, dude, I just wanted to say thank you because I've been, like, following some of your videos and, like, it was kind of weird because I was in, like, a real dry spell and then I just got results back to back and, like, a hot flash. Got, like, three lays in a row. But it's, like, going up, flirting, finding available women and so on. Wow, look at you. Works like that. Look at you listening to the advice. All you got to do, sometimes it's, <laughs> it's simple. Sometimes you just got to listen to the advice. Yeah, man. It's crazy how it's like nothing and then it's just like everything. 
with so the, the game. You know what I mean? So I'm going to say this: there, there, there is a whole there is a whole lesson there with the it rains it pours. It's very true. This kind of goes with anything in life. I don't know why. I don't know why it happens with women, with business, with good times, with bad times, with socializing. When it rains, it pours. It's just like there's times where it just there's a drought in an area, and then all of a sudden there's a time when it's like, whoa, it's all happening. So it's important to know that when you're in those droughts in any area of your life, just understand that it's not permanent, right? It's just temporary. So it looks like you're in a in a wet spell, so to speak. So good for you. Yeah, I just got to keep it positive. I was just wondering if I could ask you like, one thing about fashion and one thing about like just dates in general too. But I do have a couple other girls I'm talking to. Hopefully I can not get flaked on, but you know, we'll see. Yeah. 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 What do you got for me? So the kind of like tie this into a live stream for the fashion. Uh, what do you think about wearing like button downs and stuff like that every day? Cause like personally, I think that looks better than say just like jeans and a t-shirt, but does it like lose its effect after a while you would think? I guess that's not really an accessory, but still fashion. Well, lose lose effect in what sense? I mean, to other people? Like, it's like, oh, you just wear a button down every day. That's all you've got. Like, does it lose kind of like its style or pizzazz, I guess the word Here, is? I'm here's here's what I would say. After a while. This, is my, this is my kind of number one tip when it comes to fashion is this. Go to Pinterest or just go to Google. Pinterest? Pinterest. Pinterest is really good for this, though, because it gives you just a lot of, of quick pictures and, and, and sites. Go to Pinterest and type in different, like you'll type into Pinterest or Google different men's styles. Find a style, mm -hmm. find a style. When I say style, I mean like a look, okay? Like a button down and a jean is not like a look. It's kind of neutral. It's kind of bland. Find a look. It's the best way I could describe it, but you'll know it when you see it. You'll see like someone's wearing a look, like a hipster look, an edgy look, a super preppy look, a super formal look. Find a look right. and go for a, a look because when you're in a stylish category, you're going to be a little bit more polarizing because people, women are going to, some women are going to really like that style. So you'll turn some women off, but then you'll turn some women on in the meantime. Better than being super bland right. and just wearing like t-shirt and jeans or something like that. Unless the t-shirt and jeans has a specific style to it. Again, you can look that up um, on Pinterest, something like that. So, Yeah, I, I won't get too deep into that though because that's more like an alpha M thing, I guess. <laughs> you know? Yeah, there's plenty of gurus but, out there uh, you, can, you can find. Just understand that don't spend too much time focusing on style okay it it, it, yeah, it, it goes game, so too. deep it goes so deep like focus on the on the intangibles first and then go from there but what's your next question i was just wondering about like uh i remember you saying something like don't even take a girl out at first just like go out with her in a group because like i have this natural friend i'm kind of learning from him and i've noticed like what he'll do, he won't take girls on like one-on-one -on -one dates. He'll just be like, oh, hey, I'm going out with like my group of friends to go mountain biking or something. You should come along and then just like deal the deal at the end of the date. I think that's more like a social circle game thing that we were talking about last time. But I was wondering, is, is that like good or does that only work if the girl already has like high interest in you? Um, in terms of what, inviting her out to a group date? Yeah, so like say you're going out with friends anyways and you're like talking to this girl I would, and you're like, yeah, I oh, do that. come out with my friends. Is that would, good to do? I mean, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't I wouldn't invite to a group date. If you're interested in the girl, you invite her out on a date. Like invite her okay. out invite her out on a one-on-one -on -one meeting, okay? Because you're going to have a better chance at getting her attracted to when you guys are spending time alone with each other. So, right. So... Don't do group dates. Skip that altogether. Also, for you, I should say to you, you call in a lot, and I noticed that you're you're much younger. Honestly, man, I know that you're focusing a lot on on this area of personal development with attraction and women, and I think that's great. But honestly, you're going to go further right now if you spend most of your time, if not all of your time, on school, Okay. And I'm not saying that in the, oh, P yeah, in, the in the PSA way of like stay in school. I'm just saying like 
focus on school because that's why you're there. Like, because you're there, do that. Kill that. That's mm-hmm. going to get you further because you're going to want to work on that so you get good grades and then can end up somewhere where you have a good career. And that's going to be awesome for you because it's going to be awesome to love what you're doing and make a lot of money doing it. So focus on that. And then when you get into your early 20s, when you're out and about in the adult world, then you can get back into you know the game, so to speak. But right now, I put most of your energy into school. That's what you're here for. Okay. Yeah, I had to learn that the hard way in high school. So I was like, I'm not going to let this happen again in college. All A's so far, but yeah, you're right. I, I probably could spend a bit more mental bandwidth on like interviews and internships and all that good stuff. Yeah, exactly. You can keep on tuning in, of course. But uh, but yeah, focus on school because that's going to take you. That's, you know, you're in school once. You can always work on the girls stuff. Oh, yeah. You know it. Well, thanks for your time, man. Thanks, bro. Take care. Okay. All right. Lines are open. 310-598-3384. Better call in fast. Better call in fast. The number is in the description, guys. Everyone knows what a description on YouTube is, right? Come on. You're welcome, Nava. (laughs) Onion man. That's funny. The world is ending in 10 years. Not a fan of school. Well, wouldn't that be something? What's up? You're on the air. What's your name, age, and where are you calling from? Hello? Hey, man, you're on the air. What's going on? How's it going, man? What's up? What's your name, age, and where are you calling from? I just have a question. What's your what's, what's your name, age, and where are you calling from? You got some sniffles there too. I'm I'm Angel. Um, I'm 20 and I'm from Cleveland. Cool man. What's going on? So basically, I've been kind of studying the psychology of women, and I've real I don't know. Like you tell me if I'm wrong, but I've realized that like the 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 if you're the nice guy, you're you're really finishing last, and so like you have to distance yourself and play a lot of Cold approaching, like like being cold with them for them to actually keep coming back. Is that true or no? So your question is you have to keep on being cold to keep them coming back. Yeah, from like my experience, like the more evolved you are, like when you over pursue, the, the less length, the less like it's going to be that you're going to have the girl for a long time. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. When you over pursue, you're too needy. You're definitely not going to attract her. You know, that's for sure. And there are ways of, you know, if you are, the thing is, yeah, you can be cold and that can keep her chasing you. Um, But the thing is, is most guys don't really know how to do that. You know, most guys are too needy. Most guys are too needy. So I, I, I really like for me studying like women, like I have, I'm talking to three chicks right now. Right. So the majority of time I, I switch it up. So and every day is different. Every day is not the same. It's not predictable. You know, I don't say good mornings every day. I give them like a kind of drought one day and then the next day I'll switch it up or, you know what I'm saying? And two days later I'll switch up. It's like an algorithm, you know what I'm saying? Like Rubik's Cube. So it's like I'll an algorithm. Switching well, it dude, up. man, whatever you're doing, if it's working, it's working. So just keep doing what you're doing. You know, that's but, all I have to but say. So it's true. So it's true that like the colder you are with them, like the it the depends. It depends. It, it's hard to say. There's no. I don't think there's a formula for that. You know, I think that it all depends. I mean, you might attract uh, a certain type of girl if you're too cold, but also if you're too cold, it can completely push a, a girl away. All I know is you follow the rule of not being over aggressive or over assertive. There's a fine mm-hmm. balance between it. You know. Um, but sometimes guys go s- to such a other extreme where they're like, oh, I'm just going to be cold and not reach out. And then the girl never reaches back out to them and they lose the girl. So you kind of have to be oh, careful shit, with that, yeah. you know. But at the end of the day, the best thing is having an abundant mindset. Be dating multiple women. So naturally, you're not getting back to women as fast as you would be if you were just seeing one. And that natural progression yeah, of getting it- it's funny, like, that you say that because it's like I'm never in fear of like them not reaching out to me, and it's crazy because every time they reach out to me in the morning, so every other day I'll be like, okay, good morning, I have uh, have a great day, right? 
and then they'll hit me up. But then sometimes I don't do it, and it's like I'm not scared. I, they'll probably reach out to me three or four o'clock at five o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes seven o'clock. Hey, how was your day? Um, I, how come you never reached out to me? And I'll just be like, no, I was just busy. Um, waiting exactly. to meet up. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. That 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 like, being you being naturally busy, like actually for real busy, that momentum yeah. that works. But I don't think there's like this formula or hack to dig into that. What I would say is just be a busy dude, be on your be on your path purpose. and your purpose, yeah. right? And do your thing. Focus mm-hmm. on that. Date a bunch of girls. Boom. All right, man. I appreciate the advice, sir. You have a good night. Thanks, bro. Take care. Okay, better get there quick. Lines are open. 310-598-3384. I haven't memorized that number yet. I probably should. Becky said, when I had no self-esteem, I went for cold guys. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. There's like a difference between being cold and then just not being overly assertive. If you're cold, that might get a girl to chase. I don't think that lasts forever, though. Do we have another woman here? Alyssa? Is that two women? What's up? You're on the air. State your name, age, and where you're calling from. Uh, Jonathan, 50 years old, Los Angeles, California. Jonathan. What's up, Jonathan? Jonathan is uh, is one of my mentors and good friends. And uh, so, uh, he's, he's finally with us. I have, a, I have a story about clothes. Okay, I have a story about clothes. What do you got? Yeah. Well, you know me, you know, I'm a, I'm typically, I am an internet dater. In other words, I'm, I don't do well out in the pub in real life. And I prefer to, boo, you know, whether boo. It's like, I know, I know, but so, but last week I went out with a friend, I went with a wing woman, a friend of mine and, but I wore what? jeans and a t-shirt, but the t-shirt I wore said ax capital on it. And people that know a TV show called Billions know that this is the main character. And uh, he owns a company called Axe Capital. And I went to this first bar, me and my wing woman, and right away, like four or five people commented on my T-shirt. And they're like, really cool. And a couple women came up to me. And I thought, and it became a conversational piece. And so it was just so cool to have people come up to me just because of the t-shirt I wore. And we went to another bar afterwards and the exact same thing happened. Yeah, because it's polarizing, right? It's like you're either going to know what that is and be in on the inside joke or you're going to have no idea and it's going to be absolutely nothing to you and it's going to look like it's a credit card company, right? So. I don't know what the formula is for that, but if you know if that's working for you, you found that, and that's great. Obviously, that that gets women responding to you, but now you got to take advantage of them being able to approach you and then take it to the next level. Are you doing that, Jonathan? Well, you know me; I'm doing it. I'm 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 making good effort at it, and and I did interact with some women because of it. It was just kind of interesting because I went with no, I didn't necessarily go with the intention of meeting people per se, because I went with a a friend. But what happened was I had such a conversational piece that people were just literally coming up to me. And, and I've done this before with other things that are like related to Game of Thrones or something like that. Things that are conversational, I think, create magnetism where people come to you. So and I agree if you have a nice watch or have a cool hat or something like that. So I just wanted to share this story with your listeners. No, I like that. I like that. I mean, it's kind of like uh, like a mini lottery ticket. Like if you have something like that, then that's great. You know, you know what I also found? I'm going to share something with that. So now what's, what's probably true for you is now that you, yeah. if you ever wear that shirt out, even yeah. if, even, you know, even if you don't know if people are going to be coming up to you or not, it's given you a sense of confidence, hasn't it? Just that T-shirt. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And what actually inspired was that I have lost some weight, so now I can wear T-shirts and actually look good. So I just bought, and, and by the way, the, it's interestingly enough, the main character on this show, Billions, is this billionaire who just dresses in you know, jeans, uh, 
you know, Converse all-star sneakers and Metallica t-shirts or Led Zeppelin. So I've just been kind of going with his style and literally it's given me the confidence to act like a billionaire. And I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but I'm feeling that part of it because I've lost weight and I feel good about myself, but also just feeling comfortable in my own skin, no matter what I wear. It, it just seems to be working. I feel like there's more magnetism coming my way. Yeah, I mean, probably even just wearing that shirt, you know, or wearing whatever else, you just feel more confident. And you're doing yeah. subtle cues that are showing confidence that you don't even know you're doing, and that's what that is. When you say, like, oh, I just, I'm exhibiting more confidence, like, you're, you're doing, you're, the way you're acting, probably, the way that you're standing, holding yourself, the way that you're probably feeling more open in a room, like, literally, like your body language is probably more open, the way you're interacting with people, like, women are seeing all yeah. this, and they're picking up on this, you know? So that's why I think, well, in some ways, fashion is really cool, because it can be a, if you, if you feel comfortable in some clothes, or you feel comfortable with your body, it's like this cool little confidence boost for you, you know? Absolutely. And, and I got to tell you, your book, Magnetic, has been such, you know, a godsend because there's such great, I'm going to say nuggets, you know, at least that's what it feels like to me. Like there's like many ahas in your book that's inspired more of my outer confidence or excuse me, inner confidence which shows up in outer confidence. And, and um, so I just want to thank you for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Yeah. Thanks oh, for can calling. I say one other thing? Yes, you I can. Did go, I did go shopping uh, not too long ago with a fr um, and I went with a female friend and we went to Bloomingdale's and it was kind of cool to get the woman's perspective on what looks good on me because when I shop for myself, well. I don't necessarily got that extra set of eyeballs, if you will, looking. And by getting a woman's perspective when I shopped, just helped me feel more confident in some of the other clothes that I bought. Could be a could be a good way to start a conversation recently. with a girl too, right? Go to a, go to yeah. a, go to a store, put on some clothes, and just like walk over to whoever, not not a worker, but someone say, "Hey, what do you think of this?" Or not even don't even put on the clothes. Just grab something off the rack and say, "Hey, I want your opinion. You think this would look good on me?" Do you think this would suit me and just see what she says and then have a conversation with her? Well, I think I told you the story of this one woman I was once talking on the phone while I was shopping and, and we were just, we were connect, we were Facebook friends and we connected with one another and we were just talking on the phone. And at the time I happened to be shopping for a jacket and I said, Hey, I'm thinking about buying this jacket. If uh, I'm going to take a picture, can I send it to you and tell you and ask you what you think? And she goes, sure. So while we're talking, I'm taking a picture, you know, and I instant or I, I send it as a message to her. And um, and she goes, oh, I love the jacket. And I go, great. How would you like to see me wearing it uh, later tonight at dinner? And literally, I got a dinner date by doing that. Love it. That's great. <laughs> Good work, my friend. Good Thank you, work. my friend. All right. Well, thanks for calling. We got to get back. We have about 15 minutes left. I want to leave the open. Uh, the phone's open for some other guys. Thank you for sharing your stories. Much learned. Thanks, much man. appreciated. Thanks, man. Bye bye. Nice. 310 598 3384. Any of the females here want to call in? I know there's a few. Phone line is in the description. We can talk to you. Although I'm not sure that Elisa is spamming the chat or not. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going for this one. Two calls came in at the same time, but you win. What's your name, age, and where are you calling from? My name is Justin, 35, from North Carolina. What's up, man? What's your question? Wait, hold on, hold on. Start, girl, start from attractive. the top. You were, um, I cut you off by a second. So start again. Okay. So yeah, just like a, uh, a scenario, say like you're just 
walking by someone quickly, you know, or it's like a, uh, you're walking with your friends or, you know, she's walking with her friends and it's just, how do you even approach that sort of scenario? I just want the, uh, the trip advice on that. Okay. So for that, just think this when, when, for any situation, okay. Any situation where there's a woman you want to talk to think what's the fastest way to get from point A to point B, a straight line. Okay. Straight line. So right. just go right up to her and deliver your line. So if she walks past you, the, you know, the rule is if she's walking, just don't like deliver your line behind her while she's walking. That's very creepy. So you want to get a little bit in front of her. So she sees you for a second and then you deliver your line and then you can kind of get in front of her a little bit to stop her and then have the conversation. But any other way, just think, how can I get directly to her and do that, you know, again, A to B. Don't zigzag around. Just go right for it. The longer you take to get over there, the more the approach anxiety is going to hit. So you want to get over there as fast as you can. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Uh, what, is there a, any kind of line you would uh, recommend in that situation? Just kind of, it's, it's sort of an awkward one where you're just passing someone on the sidewalk. Yeah, you know, it's only awkward if you feel it's awkward. So just understand that yeah. if you go up and, 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 and you try as best as possible not to act awkward, even though you might be thinking it, just try to focus on the line itself. Don't think about this is awkward, this is not awkward. It happens all the time and it works all the time. Okay, so just go up to a woman and say, hey, I noticed you over here. You look nice. And then say, are you from whatever city you're in, right? Hey, excuse me. Hi, I noticed you over here. You look nice. Are you from wherever? Just deliver that line. Use that line every time. Try to continue conversation from there and just do that. Boom, A to B. Okay? Okay, yeah, that sounds pretty straightforward. Straightforward. Try it out, my friend. Let us know how it works. Yeah. All right, buddy. Good luck. Right. Thanks. Thanks, Trip. Very cool. A basic question, but not so basic because I know it's hard for a lot of you guys to do that. It's crazy. It's just delivering one line and going up to a girl, but there's so much mental bullshit you got to get through to get to that point. I get it. It's hard. You got to practice. You got to practice. Man, I'm, I'm disappointed in the... Um, I got my regulars here, but the amount of people today, they're probably like three accessories. Come on. What's up? You're on the air. What's your name, age, and where are you calling from? Hey, Trip. My name's Musa. I'm from Seattle, and I'm 23. Cool, buddy. What's your question? All right. So what does it mean? So I got a rotation of three women right now, and they all like validate me like every once in a while, like they compliment my eyebrows or um, some sort of facial feature. But one of the chicks, she like overly validates me. I'm talking about like every 15 to 20 minutes, she's like complimenting me. And it can get kind of like overwhelming sometimes. Needy, sounds um, a little needy, like she's doing and it sometimes, to get something from you. What was that? Sounds like she's maybe doing it, you know, when someone over compliments, they're obviously very attracted well, to you. Like they're maybe trying to get something back. Like she's trying to get something back from you. Like she's giving to get potentially. Well, that's the thing is like every time, like the more time I spend with her, she validates me less. Right. But then the less time I spend with her, the more she validates me, like through text and phone calls. So do you think like she's just validating me she get more of my time or? Potentially. I mean, here, here's the thing. What are you going to do with the answer to this question? It's a good question. It's fun to talk about. But either way, you know, she's validating you. It's nice. Hopefully you're not trying to get that validation from these women because you should be validating yourself. It should come from an internal place. But it's happening. So be it. She's obviously very attracted. Um, that's it, man. I mean, you know, why is, is there she, a way why, to like, why kind, she, of, kind of like make her stop? Or like oh, you don't her, like, like it? Tone it down a little bit. You don't like it? Well, it, it gets annoying. Like, imagine somebody being just like, 
just like super touchy feely with you all the time and you're kind of you're trying to drive this usually happens in the car like i'll be trying to Dude, drive you should just you should just tell her like, you should just tell her well, this is gonna be an interesting conversation too because she's gonna be like oh my god she's probably gonna like you even more um but because <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be pushing her away with this with this combo you should just tell her dude you should just be like hey listen I, you know i noticed that you give me a lot of comp like, you know be nice about it but let her know that it's it, it's kind of annoying you so I, I would say something like listen I notice that, you know, you compliment me a lot. You say a lot of nice things and don't get me wrong. Feels very nice to hear that from you, but I feel like you're doing it a lot and it's just a little much. That's how you're going to say it, by the way. Don't say the word annoying. You're going to say it feels like it's a little much. I would just say a little that. much is annoying. Okay. Yeah. Just okay. say, say it's a little much. Like I feel like th- you say like, I thank you. I appreciate it. Like it feels really good when you do that. It's very nice to hear that. Um, it's very nice to hear that from you, but I just feel like, you know, it, it happens a lot and it's a little much. Let's see what happens. She might get defensive. Okay. I don't know, but you know what? If you're, if you, this is the beauty of the abundance, right? You're dating other women. So you don't want a woman to be doing that. You should communicate that with her. You will. And if she has a problem with that, Bye bye. Right. Okay. So, there you go. Yeah, for sure. All right, I'm gonna call her right now, and I'm gonna do that. Cool, All right, man. Thanks, Trip. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Wait, wait, wait. You still right. there? Still there? Still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Wait. To, don't do it now. Don't call her now. Um, because it might it might be so out of context that it, it's not gonna be as powerful. Do it when she does it next. Okay. So don't call do her up and moment. say, "Hey, you compliment me a lot." She's, she might be like, huh? Like, what are you talking about? Instead, let her do it a few times to you in person. And then finally, when she does it like a second or third time, then deliver it. Much more powerful because she's going to notice it and the proof will be right there. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Because lately I've just been like, can you stop? Like, that's all I say is like, can you stop? And then she'll stop. I, I have to keep like repeating myself, you know, and I, I'm kind of tired of repeating myself, but. So you've said, can you stop? Approach, you, you said, can you stop? Yeah, it's like I say, can you stop? And then it's like five minutes later, she just starts doing all. It's like she didn't even hear me or something. Oh, so you've, you've and it's like I don't want to raise. I don't want to raise my voice. I don't want to like cuss at her because that's just like not the right thing to do. I wouldn't you do that, I mean? but I would just look her right in the eyes and say, "Listen, the fact that you compliment me all the time, it's very nice, but it's really a little much, and I'd appreciate." If, you know, you just didn't do it as much as you're doing it, I don't need that. Okay. For sure. There you go. Okay. Good luck. All right. All right. Thank you, Chip. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Good calls, guys. Good calls. Thanks, Mad Mac. Um, Cool. The lines are open, guys. 310-598-3384. 310-598-3384. I think we have time for another call. Um, guys, don't forget, as usual, coaching, if you're interested, buy me one-on-one. Link is in the description. Go there right now. Apply today. Coachbytrip.com. And I will help you in terms of wherever you are in your process of getting to a point where you're having an active dating lifestyle, where you're dating multiple women and getting to the point where you're enjoying your dating life because you have so many options coach by trip.com okay we got a call maybe the last call of the night what's your name age and where are you calling from hey uh this is mike hey mike how you doing man hey what's your age where are you calling from uh, i'm calling calling from uh Surrey, ontario from where uh, it's over in Ontario, Canada. Cool, cool. What's your? Uh, how old are you? Uh, I'm 26. What's your question, man? Uh, I uh, I've been finding your I've been I just found your vi- videos a couple of months ago, and then been they've been helping me a lot, and uh, it's been, uh, been been great. Put put me on mute. I I can hear myself. You're you're probably watching the live. Turn it off or put it on mute or pause. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's better. Uh, that's probably what I'm doing. I'm probably watching the video while I'm trying. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Just, just listen. Just listen to me. <laughs> oh uh, pause man. Now. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I've been having uh, trouble with women just around uh, approaching them, like not being able to go out 
and meeting them and uh and uh sometimes having like anxiety or having a hard time trying to approach them you want to get so over I your... just want to know like any advice around how to yeah like tonight tonight was pretty good I approached two women nice and they good work. had uh, boyfriends and the other one had a, a husband or something and I took it very well and I was able to walk away with uh, confidence and uh, be able to be a man and take it yeah. So if I were you, I would do that 10 okay. times in a row, 10 times in a row. Okay. You felt okay, good after so doing, what's you, your you, advice around, you, you got good after like doing women, getting so, their numbers and then tech, once you get the number, then like texting them. Okay. So like we're, this is, a, this is a lot of questions here kind of surrounding all this stuff that I talk about on the channel. Not something right. I'm, I'm going to go over now. Cause these are some of the more basic questions. Um, which are so great, great questions, up, by the yeah. way. Good stuff. A lot of guys need answers to those, probably most of the people who are watching. Um, but what I suggest you do is those questions are answered on my okay. channel. I have episodes that right. have to do with all of that stuff. Okay. Or you okay. can sign up for coaching. Okay. Where we can go right. over that personally for you and how it's going to work for you. So there's a link in the description if you want to get one on one coaching or go right, to like you mentioned in the other video right or go to the right. um the youtube channel to get those questions right. but the fact that you did two approaches yeah, tonight was awesome right. just do that a bunch more do that a bunch more okay. you're gonna feel sure. a lot better and then just right. to answer your question really quickly just when you get their number text them and ask them okay. to grab a drink sometime that's it just keep it really simple Use texting to meet up with yeah, them, yeah. and like, that's don't it. Don't overthink it. Don't, don't overthink even, it. Like, yeah, because that's been a real problem with me in the past. Like, I would overthink it, and I would try to do the cold approach where I try to approach women in the malls, and then I wouldn't be able to go up and approach them. And then I would just feel bad about myself. Well, you did it twice tonight, so whatever you did tonight, just repeat that. What made you do it tonight, and you couldn't do it the other times? What What was different tonight? Well, just getting out of the house, just going to like, uh, like just getting out and just going to like restaurants or bars or clubs and just, you know, going up to them and saying, Hey, I just, I saw you and I just had to come up and say, hi, what's your name? Oh, like so that. then, so then that's going to yeah. be your formula. You're going to need to get out right. of the house more to open yourself up right. to that. Okay. Right. Right, right. So make sure you do that more often. Right. Right. Okay. All right. I would make it a point three times a week to just get out of the house, have an opener just ready to go. Doesn't matter what it is. Try to do as many approaches as you can. Try to make it a goal to do 10. You do that three times a week for a month, you're going to be solid. Okay. Solid. And just you get, get, you get keep pushing yourself. With like approaching women and building confidence, and you know, so you got this, buddy. Do it, do it three times yeah. a week for the next month. Call back in, let us know how you feel. Yeah, yeah, because I've been watching a lot of your videos and they've been really helping me, and you know, and uh, you're Good. quite a smart guy, and you you're really great on these uh, topics and. Just an area that I need to work on, and uh, all the areas of my life is uh, good, but just this particular area. I know you're in a lot. You're, you're. Thank you for saying that, by the way. I appreciate that. And and you're in. A, no, you're, you're, I found a YouTube channel. It's been great. You're in a situation where a lot of guys are, where they have a lot of their lives figured out, except for this part. So now it's time to figure this stuff out. And honestly, mm -hmm. um, I work with a lot of guys in Canada too. I would highly suggest getting coached. Because if you have everything else figured out in your life, this is the last piece. Just get this done. Mm -hmm. So I urge you to actually apply and let's see if we can help you. But otherwise, okay. just go out as much as you can. Talk to as many women as you can. You'll get better day by day. Brick by brick. Build a house brick right. by brick. Okay? All right. Awesome, buddy. Thank you. Hope to hear from you. All right. Cool. Yeah, for sure. Bye-bye. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, there you go. 
guys and ladies. Four ladies, says Becky. What a live. Whoa. What a live. We did good here. We answered some good questions. I don't mean to turn guys away who ask those questions. They're not stupid questions like how do you get a number? Or how do you get over approach anxiety? It's just that those questions are uh, better answered. I should say um, better for you to get the answer from those in other YouTube videos because you can just learn them a lot there. And, and we save the questions here for more specific cases of where you're at. So that's what I say. Cool. Awesome. That's a wrap. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me on another live. Next live is next Tuesday, 12 p.m. Central. Hope to see you there. We'll do another topic. I wanted to do something different tonight, talking about accessories, fashion, something we don't normally talk about. So it was uh, it was cool to talk about this stuff. Obviously, not as many people showed up as yesterday, probably because not a lot of people want to learn about that. They want to learn about the other stuff. But I don't care because I want to talk about what I want to talk about sometimes. And today, that was the three accessories. Wallet. Nope. Watch. Yep. It's because someone said wallet. Watch sunglasses, hat, try it out, see what happens. Thanks, Onion Man. Don't forget, coaching, you want it, I can give it to you if you're over 18 and if you apply. To apply, go to coachbytrip.com. The link is in the description, coachedbytrip.com. And we can potentially help you out depending on how you fill out the application. So please be thorough. And if you want to get to the next level, wherever you're at, you're having trouble, you want that push, you need that accountability, let me help you. Okay. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you next Tuesday.